Welcome to Utrecht! In this movie, we will tell you about the three-year bachelor program at the Utrecht University School of Economics. Gustavo, Esmeralda and Latina are three students who follow this program, and they will tell us more about their lives and studies. First, we meet Gustavo. He's walking around the campus. Hi, I'm Gustavo and I'm from Brazil. Welcome to Utrecht. This is a city where I came to study economics and business economics. It is a three-year program and I'm in the last year of my studies. Gustavo is now heading for a lecture, but first he's going to meet up with some friends. They are also students of economics and business hey, economics. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. How many minutes have you got to the next lecture? Uh, what about five minutes or so? Well, I'm sitting here with some other students. They're from Holland, Italy and Finland. And uh, in fact, the university is very uh, internationally oriented. That is one of the reasons why I chose to study in Utrecht. Besides, the university is very highly ranked and uh, the cost of studying here is not that high compared to other universities in Europe. We leave Gustavo with his friends and now we're going to meet Esmeralda. She's at the Althoff campus. It's another part of the university. Hi, I'm Esmeralda. I'm from Albania and I'm 21 years old. This is the Althoff campus and right now I'm heading for a lecture. Educatorium where you will have your lectures. You'll have about 12 contact hours during the week, including lectures and tutorials, but a lot of self-study as well. So you'll learn about time management and meet interesting teachers and lecturers. Now we're going to meet Latina. She's at the Drift Library in the center of Utrecht. She walked there because everything is within walking distance in Utrecht. Hi, I'm Latina from Bulgaria and currently in my third year of the Bachelor of Economics and Business Economics. We are right now in the library and this is where I study a lot. You're not the only one, because there are a lot of students, lots of books, lots of computers, a lot of great facilities. For me, studying in the library is very productive, since there are no distractions, and this is just one of the many libraries in Utrecht. Actually, that's the great thing about the Netherlands. There is a lot of facilities, as well as a great infrastructure. Something else you might want to know is that people are very open-minded, and everyone speaks English. Well, let's not forget the weather, which changes a lot. Holland is very international, and the weather? Well, that's quite something. Can be rainy, can be sunny. For now, we're going to leave the library and go back to Gustavo. He works at the international office. I have here the application of Yu Chang, who would like to go to Madrid on exchange. Do you know if it's already in the system? Just a moment. I work here at the international office as a student assistant. This is a side job next to my studies. This is the place where students come if they would like to go on exchange to Australia, the United States or Rome, for example. One of the main tasks of my job is to help students complete their applications. Great that you have a job like that, Gustavo. But for now, we'll leave you and see what Esmeralda and Latina are up to. They just arrived on their bikes at the park and are enjoying the weather. So what have you been up to today? I was following my course, a minor, in contract law. Yeah, I'm also still following my minor. And I'm very glad with the supervision because it's really personal and they address any problem you have. So you don't feel just like a number in the big math. It's really great. We're talking about minors. In Utrecht, there is something special that you can do, is that you can choose from seven different minors and combine it with your major study of economics. Personally, in the beginning, I wanted to study both economics and law, but now I can have the perfect combination. Esmeralda and Latina went back to the Outhoff campus. They discussed what they're going to do this weekend. So hey, do you have any plans this weekend? Do you want to do something? I actually was thinking of a barbecue in one of the parks. It could be fun. Oh well, yeah, because the weather is quite nice actually. Okay. And we can also go to Amsterdam, maybe do some shopping. For sure. Yeah, we're just making plans to go to Amsterdam since it's only 30 minutes away from Utrecht. Actually, Utrecht is in the middle of the Netherlands, so it's pretty accessible and you can go anywhere. But it's quite an international and student city, so there is also lots to do around here. So While they're discussing their plans for the weekend, we go back to Gustavo. He arranged an internship and now he has an appointment to get approval for this. So you arrange yourself the internship? Well, uh, it's going to be an internship at a Robico, an asset management company. Okay, and for how long? For three months. That's good. Um, can I have your approval form? Oh, yes. Thank you. 
I'm now arranging an internship. I think that's a great opportunity to combine what I have learned in class with some experience in the job market. It's great for Gustavo to get some real life working experience. But now we go back to the campus where Esmeralda just arrived. She's heading for an exam. I have an exam right now on intermediate macroeconomics and it's quite difficult because we have those every five weeks. But uh, it will keep up with the studying and you'll manage to study regularly everything. That's a good way of studying. To have regular exams will help you perform better. After the exams, she is studying again. This time is for the honors program. Right now I'm working on a project about green innovation, which is part of the honors program. That is a program that combines real life and uh, economics together. Uh, there are a lot of projects, it's quite challenging, and you will have an invitation if you perform well in your studies. That's great if you want an extra challenge, but now we go back to Latina, who is busy at EQ92, the study association. Can you visit right? Yeah. And then you can send me an email. This is ECU92. This is the study organization of the Faculty of Economics. I think this is a really good way to meet new people and just get involved with your studies. I'm a part of the AC committee, which organizes fun activities throughout the year. Latina is still busy organizing the study trip, but we go back to Gustavo, who's going to see a friend. They're walking around in the city center, close to the canals. Yeah, I do. I found a nice room in the center, close to the bird area, very beautiful. Cool, and do you like it? Of course I like it. It's close to everything. Excuse me. If you're coming to Utrecht, be sure to look for a room in advance. Utrecht is a very pleasant city to live, but rooms can be difficult to find. So look for it early. I'm sorry, and I got a message. Yeah, but when, when are you moving in? That's great advice, Gustavo. If you need housing, start early. Then you have the best shot of getting a room. Thank you. In the time that I was here, I learned how to speak Dutch. Holland is very international, so learning Dutch is not necessary. But it's a very good idea if you'd like to have more insight into the Dutch culture. While Gustavo is enjoying the atmosphere, we go back to Latina. She's at the introduction week, where everything starts for every student. I'm just gonna check on the group I'm coaching. They're having a college meeting right now, which is introducing their tutor who they can go for questions and anything they want during the year. As a new student, you receive loads of information at the introduction week. You get acquainted with your studies and meet up with fellow students. And finally, you get to start your student life in Utrecht. Do you think economics and business economics are the right studies for you? Attend an information day or taste a day and check our website.